Boxing, as we all know, is a dangerous sport. And it's with great sadness that we start the show reflecting on the tragic death of Dundee boxer Mike Towell, who's passed away in hospital after losing a fight with Dale Evans in Glasgow on Thursday night. I'm joined by Darren Barker and by Spencer Oliver, whose own career was cut cruelly short after he suffered head injuries in a European title match 18 years ago. Spencer, we love the sport, but there are always inherent risks involved. Yeah, there are. Of course there are, you know. I think that boxing comes into the spotlight, Ed, because it's two guys in the ring, um, you know, one's inflicting damage on another man, so it's always going to come in the spotlight. But if you look down the history of sports, defending boxing here, if you look down the history of sports, boxing will come right at the bottom of the amount of deaths, you know, in boxing um, in, in this country. You know, you've got motor racing, you've got rugby, you've got horse riding. They'd all rank above that. It's just that boxing comes in the spotlight, obviously, because of, of what's happened, and it's a shame. Darren, all boxers are aware of the inherent risk going into it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, myself coming from a boxing family, you know, my dad was a national champion, my brother boxed, I boxed, and obviously I think if my son was to, to take up boxing one day, then I'd be all for it. I mean, we're all aware of the risks and, and we choose to, choose to do it. I'm just, you know, absolutely heartbroken. Spencer, is the sport as safe in this country as it can be? Absolutely. I think if you look back in time to, say, Michael Watson, um, Michael Watson was seven years prior to me that he, he got injured in the ring. Um, they, they took him to the hospital. No, nothing was done really to him. He wasn't seen to in the ring. The Boxing Board of Control noted that. Um, and, and when I boxed, they, you know, they, they'd moved forward with the medical procedures and the medical side of things. And, and what they'd done for me was, was amazing. And so they're improving on it all the time, Ed. You know, the boxing, can, they can only do what they can do now. We've got, we've got dietitians involved in the sport now. We've got nutritionists. The boxing board from control to have weight checks, you know, six weeks prior, four weeks prior, two weeks prior, just to make sure the kids are on weight. So they're doing everything they can, you know, to make it as safe as possible. But, you know, obviously, you know, every now and then you're going to get... The these, these things come up and it is such a shame because it puts boxing in a bad light but you know people people are going to get injured Darren it's so tough for everyone involved isn't it you think about the referee Victor Laughlin who was involved in that fight between Nick Blackwell and Chris Eubank Jr and the trainer Gary Lockett who was also in the corner with Nick Blackwell who got those injuries against Eubank Jr and was with Dale Evans it's so tough I mean um, there's so many people involved and it affects so many people you know the family of course and like you say the trainer the referee this is gonna have a huge effect uh, on the remainder of their careers you know but I mean young and up-and-coming boxers will watch that and uh, current fighters at the minute you know it, it affects everyone and it, it's such a shame when you see uh, one of your own uh, a fellow fighter uh, suffer injuries let alone sadly pass away well, our thoughts and prayers are with the family of Mike Towell and everyone involved in the fight. Mike was just 25 years old.